imagine the boldness, but this woman, she was kind, and she obeyed, and willingly she did it. Will we do that? She accommodated him, and she was blessed. That is all Christ asked of our love. Simple. Greet everyone at the door, ushers, with a genuine smile and a loving embrace. As Christians, we are to emulate a model after Christ. During his ministry, we know that he practiced hospitality. Hospitality could be, could be means of winning souls to Christ. We can teach about Jesus by living our life for him. When people see us and experience our genuine <coughs> love and care for them, they will want to know more about us. They will want to understand why are we so good? Why are we so kind? Why are we so faithful to God's word? We do not have to be a rose color to show hospitality. It is as easy as putting dinner on the table for a few friends or for a total stranger. Let us think about how happy we were when we were there dreaming about our prince or Prince Charming. Now we have a Prince Charming that surpassed them all, them all, and that's Jesus. And we should honor him and the sacrifices he has made for us by practicing what he taught us and show our love to all. Hospitality is not innate. It is a spiritual gift. First Peter 4, 9 to 10 says, also hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others faithfully, administ administering God's grace in various forms. A story is told of a college student who was very shy. He never shone in a group. He always sat in a corner. Yet he found acceptance in a church family and a quiet female listener. When he married several years later, the bride remembered gratefully her availability to the young man who had trusted her confidence. Everybody shunned him, but she sat there and listened to him. Young people, you never know. So please be kind to everyone. Some families or singles travel to new, transfer to new areas, accept hospitality, and find a new church home on the first visit. The reason? They were greeted warmly when they entered. Ushers are not supposed to be soldiers. Yes, we are soldiers in God's army, but not soldiers at the door. Sometimes we have to visit so many churches before we decide which one to settle on. Offering hospitality adds blessings to those who reach out. Do not be like a family who, who was entertaining the pastor and his wife for Sabbath lunch on a hot, blistering day. When all were seated, the man of the house turned to the six-year-old and asked him to say the grace. But Daddy, I don't know what to say. Oh, just uh, just what say what you have heard mom say. Obediently, he bowed his little head and said, Oh Lord, why did I invite these people here on a hot day like this? <laughs> the boy's parents may have had the pastor and his wife as guests, but they were not showing the true love. Sometimes it can be very difficult to show hospitality to certain kinds of people. You know that. Some people easily win our hearts and others are difficult to love. But what did Jesus say? He said, love them anyway. An old Jewish legend says one day Abraham was standing by his tent door when he saw an old man coming along the way, weary and tired on his journey and with legal feet. With true hospitality, Abraham invited the old man to share his meal and inquired um, why he did not pray to the God of heaven. The old man said, I am a fire worshiper and acknowledge no other God. At this, Abraham grew very angry and sent, from his, sent him away from his tent. 
Then God called Abraham and asked him, Where is the old man? Abraham explained what happened. Then God said, I have cared for him for over a hundred years, even though he, was, he has dishonored me. Could you not endure him one night and so prove to him that God is love? Again, I ask, where is our love? Are we doing all we can to those around us needing that love and friendship? Just as the sunshine reveals the beauty of a stained glass window, hospitality, ushering team, allow the light of God's sun to shine from your heart. This love is readily and effectively transferred as you open your home, your church, to others and share Christian love. I love the Spanish greetings that says, Mi casa is su casa. My house is your house. My church is your church. It is biblical. Remember Abraham welcomed the three strangers, they were just passerbys. And then he ordered Sarah to roast the calf and cook for them. And you know the story of the wealthy woman of Shunem in Israel who invited Elijah to stop by her, um, by her supper. Whenever, whenever he passed away, she said, just stop by. And her husband agreed to that. And he built a room on the top by the gateway, equipped with bed, man, chair, everything to make him comfortable. As a couple in Israel, they must have heard the law over and over again in Leviticus 19, be holy because I, the Lord, your God, am holy. The alien living with you must be treated as one of your native born. Love him as yourself because you were alien in Egypt. Yet the phrase, my house is your house, takes on a breathtaking dimension when we realize that it captures the attitude of a young woman from Nazareth. Remember that story. We cannot comprehend the wondrous mystery of Mary's womb serving as the house for the baby Jesus, her son, who would become her Lord. Yet we believe the Lord of creation deigned to accept the hospitality of the Virgin Mary to begin his life a sacrificial love and became the Christ of our salvation. My heart, Christ's home, where he can work to conform me more and more to his loving self. Our hearts, the spirit abode, where he can both prompt us and empower us to be hospitable. It takes an open heart to respond to God's prompting. It takes some courage to ushers to step away from that cozy group one always talks with and to greet the, greet the visitors warmly to say, if it leads to that, my home is your home for a little while. Someday, some blessed day, we will stand before the throne of God on that day, God will not praise us for the strength of our faith, nor will he praise us for how well we know the Bible, but he will praise us for we have shown hospitality to all. Come, you who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to eat.